The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow Industrials down 35, Nasdaq's off 5, S&Ps are off 4.5, gold contracts up 220, trading at 12.76 an ounce. We have silver up 5 cents, $18.30 an ounce. Platinum is down 4 bucks, 9.65 an ounce. Uh, light sweet crude flat, $53.48 a barrel. We got... Uh, API, no, not API, uh, that was EIA? last night. Yeah, EIA, EIA 1030. 10.30 today. Notes, 10-year note flat, 30-year bond down four ticks, 152.27. Good old King Dollar uh, down 52 ticks, trading 100.570. The euro is trading at 106 to the U.S. dollar. The yen is at 109 to the U.S. dollar. And where's the VIX? And the VIX. What did you just pull up like 10 seconds before the, we, I was like, oh, usually we're on the main screen, right? There's yeah. like 10 seconds to live and you're entering some symbol. And I'm like, what are you looking at? And it was the VIX. Yeah. Well, the amazing thing, you know, uh, the VIX is at 15.80. And the bottom line is that, you know, the last time that we got into that 15 area was on the 27th. And it, but guess what? It was it went from 15 by the close. It was at 12. <laughs> and now yesterday we were down and guess what? It came all the way back. But guess what? They're still buying insurance. So we got to know what's going on. And the way to know what's going on, when we talk VIX, who do we talk to? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe, we, got our, maybe. we got our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks from TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN. 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. You want to know options upside down, futures upside down. Kevin Scott Connolly got an amazing show. Uh, no matter where you are in your car right now, if you're going to work, remember, just go to TFNN.com and your cell phone hit Tiger TV. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How's everybody doing? Good. Hey, well, you know, you know, it's intriguing. I'm sure you just heard me, but, you know, the market came all the way back, Ben, but I guess they're still buying insurance, huh? <laughs> Think about this, Tom. What about what? What would you think if I told you VIX is up and gold is up big in the last two days? Yeah, that's right? that's saying what that. What indicators is that giving you? Yeah, that's saying that people are nervous. Period. Exactly. Yeah. And all you got to do, if you open up the Thinkorswim platform and you look and you look at, we have a tool called uh, Today's Option Statistics. Yes. And it'll show you right now that the sizzle index on, like, say, the reason the, that, that the VIX is up, because the, the, uh, the order flow in the SPX. Right. Right? The call and put sizzle. What, what, now, I'll give it real quick. The sizzle index on the Thinkorswim platform compares today's volume to that of the last five days. Oh, cool. So it gives you unusual activity. Well, you look right here today. The uh, call sizzle, almost two times the volumes in SPX calls. Almost two times the volume in SPX puts. A put call ratio of almost two to one. Yeah. Right. So puts are trading. 115,000 puts have traded and 61,000 calls. That's pretty puts, intense. Oh, right. Yeah. You see, puts drive volatility. So it, it's not, if you look at those numbers and dig a little deeper, it really starts to set up, huh, something's going on here. Yeah, no, the, I, people it, are buying protection. And buying, it shows it in the VIX. It, it certainly does. And, you know, it was wild because, you know, yesterday morning we were talking about, you know, the 27th. The, the VIX was big, but it came all the way back. And I, when I saw the market marching back, I'm saying to myself, man, this is just a replay again, you know. And in my take is that we're going to go south because we get two high-volume lows now. Um, but when I just brought that up there, that's not only my take. It's, you know, people are, you know, basically saying, okay, we're, we're going to basically get this leveraged out somehow yeah. just in case this hit is around the corner. Just in case, exactly. Yeah. I've always said, Tom, these fundamentals, these things we look at in the market, they, they talk to you. They're they, information. They, you don't get as much information as you used to, but you still get it, right? You, you do. 
You do. Monday, the market was up, and the VIX was up a lot right. on Monday. Right. It, right. So it's showing you it may not turn. Is it going to pan out? Who knows? No one knows that. But right now, people are buying protection. No doubt about it. And you better pay attention to it because, you know, Absolutely. Uh, to, to get to the other side of this, folks. OK, we, you know, whether you're listening, I happen to you know, listen to Bloomberg, you know, quite about in the morning. And this is like a mantra that everyone is saying that, hey, no, this market's not going to stop. It's just going to keep going. And when you hear that, too, it's like, you know, I know the market's been going for seven years. But guess what? When people are more relaxed about it, that's when you really get a, you know, like, you know. It's, yeah, I don't I don't consider that climbing the wall of worry. No, when, exactly. When, when someone on TV announces this could go way further. Oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> totally. That's when I'd be nervous. Totally. And and, you know, when you've been doing this long enough and I'm not sure what long enough means either, folks. <laughs> but you know that when you get relaxed yourself, that's when you really got to watch out. Definitely. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's like, so relaxed, like right? yeah, yeah, oh, totally. I mean, because when, when I know that, oh, man, OK, so, you know. That's like we've been joking about. Hey, just buy a 50 day moving average yeah. and forget it. You go to the beach, man. Well, right. You know what? That's that's when the beach just turns into freaking hell. <laughs> <laughs> right. What, yeah. You, you know, it's our job sometimes when you're trading options to see the storm before the clouds. Come. Yes. Yes. Right. And that, if you're looking at these boards and you're seeing VIX, you're seeing gold, you're seeing everything that's going on there. You, you know, you're starting to see some clouds yep. on the horizon. No doubt. And, and that bond uh, market's been seeing it for a while. It's like, oh, my God, right. it's, it's just amazing. Man. Right. Well, Buy umbrellas when the sun is shining, Tom. That's a beautiful Definitely. thing. <laughs> They're much less expensive that way. Oh, exactly. boy. <laughs> that way, when you think, when you think, you know, I remember Scott and you last week, when you think about when it was at 11 and 15 right. and it's hanging at 15, that's a trade, man. Right. You know, right here, folks, 12 noon every trading day. Just right, go right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Hit Tiger TV. You're going to get some great HD video plus audio. Kevin, have a great one. Have a safe one. We look forward to the show. Have a great day, guys. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 40, Nasdaq's off 9. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is down 17. You get the NASDAQ off two. S&Ps are down two. And we are going to have uh, some oil numbers. So let's go over and we take a look at the, this oil market right now. Let's see where we are. Okay. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN, hit the Nadex banner, bring up the exchange. They'll put uh, $25,000 of paper money into your account. And you can uh, walk along with us as we uh, trade these defined option contracts. And what we do when the, uh, between the oil and the gas numbers, we're looking for volatility. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for 11 a.m. volatility trade. It comes out at 1030. Um, and we'll see uh, where we stand here. So jumping around, people usually will we'll jump around a little bit quicker than usual, right? Because I jumped to the 11 a.m.s. Okay. Oil's at 53.44. Yep. We're looking at the May contract. And 53.75 is going to be the closest point. 53, we could also do. Oh. But so so immediately before we even go into that, let's right jump to 12. the 12 o'clock, yeah. right? And it lines up much closer. 53.50, we're okay. at 53.44. Nice. Only six pennies away. And it's nice to have that because when you have a lot of intrinsic value in one side, you're going to have to pay for all that intrinsic value right. plus the premium, and it becomes more directional. Um, than vol, yeah, exactly, than the vol, right. Right. And so... Um, so 53.45, we're going to look at the 53.50. Yeah. That's the negative one. Okay. That's the positive one. They each have a buck 50, 150 bucks. So we'd be selling the one going down to 52. Buying the one going up to 55. So you're looking at $44. And realistically, the $8 difference is the $8 difference as in the value in the negative one. This is you know, it has that $8 of value that you're paying. So, and that's from 53.50, right? So you're looking yeah. at about 42 cents of movement, 44 cents of movement. Well, this is good then because I, I'm And that's 12 o'clock again, too. And I'm slightly have, bearish on this. So that, you do have the eight cents, to the, right? You're paying you have value to okay. the negative side, right? And now. I'll show you why I'm bearish, folks. I, you know, yesterday when we were coming into the close, I was kind of looking at, at this because I knew that the numbers were, were coming out. And so what we've done, inside the oil market here is that it's been a nice run. It's coming right up to where it broke down from, um, you know, which is the $53.81, you know, and uh, we actually hit 54.14 today. And, you know, that's a, that's a strong market. The cool, the cool thing is that's a strong market, but it's like, okay, you know, this thing can pull back into 52.25 and have nothing wrong with it. Sure, you know? definitely. So I'd like to let's do, let's do a couple of those. Now, hold on, is yeah. that, oh, that's the June contract. Yeah, I was just going to okay, point it out you. as well. Okay, um, you know, but they're going to trade similarly, just they, different price levels. Right, as in, right. this is at fifty three seventy two. Meanwhile, the contract we're looking at right now is trading at fifty three forty four. Right, and that's <clears> the okay. So here we're looking look, at May. You want to look at May? Yeah, I do. So uh, let's see, W T I May. There it is. It's a K. So that's 53, and this is a delayed quote. Right, that's what Okay, I'm same setup, which is great. Okay, so let's let's do a couple contracts. Okay. So again, just making sure this is the negative one. So, yes. We're selling a couple there, right? Yeah. And we're buying a couple we're here. We're buying a couple here. Okay, and now we need, I need here, what was it? Uh, yeah, so 50. And 36, you're looking at 86. That's for two, though, right? That's for two, right. Yeah. 43 bucks. I need... Yeah, 25 and I have eight plus cents 18, that, 43 dollars. Right? And I have eight... Well, you have, you have eight cents right now. Right. Yes, right, okay. you know. Um, and, of course, you're going away from 53.50, and these are the noon ones right. as well. Now, what did happen, as Jay say in the den, um, uh, what are you saying is that uh, the API... Uh, was a draw of 1.3 million, and what did happen is that Andy, when I had Andy on last night, he said that was bullish. Okay. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, basically. 
Um, we will. We'll pull up. We'll get, uh, what, eight minutes? We'll pull up that live news feed that they pull out there, and we'll see where the numbers come in. See if you get 90 minutes of volatility. Totally, man. Let's go over to our man Mike in Somerville. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Okay, guys. Uh, Carlos took you into the close yesterday, so I didn't get my air time yesterday. Oh, I see. I guess so. <laughs> listen, listen. I, I try to call... And I don't think it was yesterday. I think it was the day before. And uh, I was going to email you, Tom. But And, and I know Tommy hates this because he's, he's such a modest guy. I'm going to try to say this without choking up. But uh, you and your wife have done such a good job with this kid, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> you That's nice, too, Mike. Mike. Thank you, man. Seriously. Seriously. Thank what you are, so much. What are we looking at, man? When you guys, when you guys, when Tommy took over, I think it was two days ago, and he was explaining something, and I, 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 I was in the middle of something. So I Mike, you know what, man? I appreciate it so much, but people want to hear about stocks right now. That's all, man. You know, I, I, I really appreciate it and for sure. So what are we looking at, brother? Tommy well, just did a great job explaining that that day is what I'm saying. He it is persistent, great. man. He, 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 anyway. <laughs> there's no <laughs> doubt. Exactly. J-Nug. 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 Okay. That, uh, so... Now, this has had quite a run. I mean, you know, we're at 727. JNUG, folks, is the direction daily junior gold miners bull of the market vectors junior gold miners index. Um, you know, we, you know, you just went from 650 to 727. I mean, I like the trade. Uh, now, do you own it? You're looking to buy it? What are we doing here? No, Tom, I added, I added some yesterday. I just added another 100 yesterday. Oh, actually, 300 yesterday. And uh, I, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of with you on this, buddy. I'm, I, I know it's a tough trade, buddy, but I'm, I'm with you, brother. You're the gold king, and I just got to, I got to, I know, I'm not going to hold you to anything. You know that, brother, but I'm, I'm just feeling it with you, man, you know? Well, okay, so let's go to the uh, GDXJ. So the GDXJ, folks, is what this trades off of. And if we take a look at this, what you're going to see is that, you know, we're at 37.49. You push with volume yesterday, which is really positive. And this looks like at least wants to test 38.57. So we're at 37.50. So in that context, you know, that, that's a good setup. I can tell you that I like the setup better of the large producers versus... No, I know. That. You know, that, that, and that, that would be the nugget, and it, it, it just it's it's the nugget, and this what the what the GDX did, folks, is that that took out a B point with volume. It's a different setup, and it's a different trade because you know one are the large producers, sure. and one are the small to medium exploration yeah. plus producers. Right. You know, no, uh, Tommy, I remember you saying that the other day. It's just that I, you know what, years ago you had to worry about the, the commission. Now Fidelity's down to 495, so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Right, right. You know, you know, you'd want to add to your regular position, so when you close it out, you only paid the 12 bucks or the 9 bucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no, I, I see. Okay, okay. I got, listen, the, 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 the bottom line is that if, in fact, one's moved, they're both going to move. It's not like they, they you know... The gold, the gold market does move together. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Do you know, what I mean? would just say, Mike, don't, don't factor in those commissions, man. If you're trading hundreds of shares of that, though, over five dollars, man, just buy the one that you think is going to do best. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's why I, Tommy. That's why I always give you praise, buddy. Talk Thank you, you later, man. Guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. Have Thank a great you. one, man. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. The hour is down 32. Nasdaq is off six. We're going to be back with those oil numbers, folks. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market-safe core commodity CD from EverBank. This five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities, gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percent percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The
The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. It's that time of the year again, and that means the Spring Tiger Dollar Sale is back. TFNN has just announced that our best Tiger Dollar Sale of the year is back this week only. Right now, you can get up to a 50% bonus on whatever you spend on Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars can be used for any TFNN newsletter or service and are a great way to add extra savings to any TFNN product. Tiger Dollars never expire and are fully transferable. Whether you're a current subscriber or plan on purchasing anything in the future, this is a great time to get your Tiger Dollars. Remember, this sale ends Sunday and we're closed on Friday with the market, so don't delay. The Spring Tiger Dollar Sale with the potential to earn a 50% bonus on your purchase only comes around once a year, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to get your Tiger Dollars today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com welcome back folks uh well we had the uh, inventories uh oh that's fell Right there, yeah. yeah. So we got a decline of two million barrels. Now yep. it's it's great. We'll keep everyone in anticipation, including ourselves, of where yeah. oil is right Who now. Is by trade. <laughs> um, and let's take a peek. Why not? Because maybe you want. Yeah, it's obviously going up, right? Um, Fifty-three, sixty, 59. call it. Yeah. yeah. So fifty-three fifty is going to be our pivot point here. So we need more action than that. But that's, that's a nice right. miss. There's in two million barrels. I think they were even talking about, and the estimates will come up. Um, 400,000, 500,000 maybe barrel decline. And that is only what we just look at, the second weekly decline for the year. Okay. And uh, the first quarter, they had like a 56 million. Uh, okay, so median estimate, they're showing 1.5 million barrels. And I wonder where the Bloomberg estimate was too. But even a further decline than that, which is definitely should send that price higher. Here we go, 16 cents. And we'll see where that shakes out. So obviously, I pulled these up ahead of time. It's what you know you definitely yep. want to do. Have everything ready, right? right? In case you want to close this out. Here's our positive one. This is where basically all the value is. Of course, there's still value to the downside, which is all premium though, because fair enough, there's a distinct possibility that it closes under 53.50. You know, we're going. This would be a trip, right? If it ended up uh, diving. You, you know, it's amazing. I know you're bearish, so that's what. I, yeah. I, I, you know, and even as it popped up there, if this thing gets up to 53.60 again, I want to sell it. Okay. Um, Perfect. You yeah. just take some value to the upside, right. and then and then leave yourself open to the downside. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Exactly. Definitely. Particularly because we're going against the, that that downdraft, so, and it's like okay, you know. Sure. Definitely. Um, you know, even yeah, you can take it at any point, right? Even right. so, what it cost it forty three dollars. Yeah. So I mean, right now you could even close out to the one to the upside and yeah. say, you know what, that wasn't a big enough miss it, in the news. I'll just yeah. take off. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're seven cents under already. Right. Okay. Right, you know. Yeah. So. Well, you got 88 minutes left. You know, of the 90 after the news. No, so we'll you. see. But yeah, man, look at that. Now it's south. Right. Well, that's great. We even just talked about. It. Unfortunately, it was like 20, 25 dollars. Maybe you could have got to that upside. 
Right, which would have been pretty cool. Yeah, you cut your wrist down almost in half. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, okay, we'll see where we'll it see plays where it out. shakes out, but that's going to be interesting in the context. No, it's a great strategy point in terms of you know you yeah. don't need to always collect your full break even. Right. At the top. No. Right. No. Right. No. Not not if you think. Right. Like, not if you're bearish. See, we're at a place right now, folks. This is what's you know I I, I love these places where you you have something that's defined as a wall. Not not a wall. Right. But, you know, you, yeah, you Everybody can, knows what you're talking yeah, about, I think, right. when you say that. It's yeah. just such a trading zone it, up there. It is. Yeah. You know, so it's like, okay, man. When there's that many shares that have traded at that level, right? right? Yeah. It's just, you know, that 50, well, actually, CLK. <clears throat> I mean, second. where just so as you go, well, back up once. I'll just okay, good. Yep, right? good. Yep. We're, yep. we're trading the K. Yeah, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I was just going to say, where do you, how do you get your cursor? Uh, yeah, just let's see, that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say, you know, going right from right to left, right? It's like yeah. this whole area. Exactly, right. and yeah. that's and that is a supply line, man. Definitely, that is one big <coughs> supply line. No Excuse two ways me. about that. Yeah. So let's bring this back up again and see where we are. Oh, look at right in the middle. Don't stay there. No, no, right. <laughs> It'd be a little bit more worrisome if it was eleven o'clock, but would. this is really nice that you it open would. yourself up because right. if anybody's followed these. The action doesn't stop at 11 o'clock. No. No. No, it certainly doesn't. Yeah. And in particular, you know, what you have here is that, let's see, so the, the there's no action in the yen yet. The dollar has been, where's, where's a dollar? I got the wrong one up there. Let me see. Where's that dollar? DXM. Because what we had yesterday, what was moving this market around yesterday, folks, uh, was that yen, the yen move was was incredible. And now it looks like the dollar, yeah, the dollar, you know, we're at 100.495. That looks like it's going to make a, a run for a lower price here. So, you know, we'll, we'll see where that shakes out because that will affect all commodities. You know, the, oh, definitely. the, the weaker dollar, you know, is, is a big deal. Uh, markets are just flat, you know. When we take a yeah. look at this, baby, uh, we have the Dow off 35, NASDAQ's off uh, 10, S&P's are down 5. Check this out. This is pretty wild. So Amazon, the Amazon's going to be a trip, man. Amazon's going to. So look at this. Oh, I know. They had mulled. They were, they were going to buy Whole Foods. Yeah. Amazon said to mull Whole Foods bid before Janice stepped in. Amazon seen as a possible, seen as a possible bidder for Whole Foods, pawned our takeover of the organic food chain last fall, but didn't pursue a deal, according to a person familiar with the knowledge, man. It's got to be so cool having that much equity in your company, not even himself, just Amazon, sure. that you can really be almost go out and buy any company you want to integrate yourself. Totally. Um, oh, listen to this. Remember we were talking about Uber Eats and, yes. the, and the delivery? Yes. McDonald's started delivery. Did they? Amazing. I got home the other night and I, I was telling Olivia about the conversation we sure. had and she says, we well, wouldn't believe it. Two days ago, McDonald's just started delivering. I says, where? He says, right here. Okay. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Isn't it? And, and that's almost... That's in my story was that uh, somebody, one of my Uber drivers was saying that they were doing Uber Eats mostly, and yeah. it was mostly fast food, mostly McDonald's on the right. weekends, on the morning. Yeah. And maybe that's just like a, a Tampa. Maybe it's younger 20s to 40s. Maybe you're going out and you just want breakfast, and you want a nice greasy McDonald's breakfast without moving. Well, um, McDonald's is smart, though, right? Oh, yeah, because, right. I because mean, the, they, re the reality is that they saw what was going out the door. Yeah, I mean, I think they know when those people come in, you know, that they're picking up the orders or however. Oh, sure. I, you know, so that's what I'm saying. You see all that business coming into your store and saying, why are we allowing them to take well, a the, piece of that? Yeah, they must have a deal with them because it's just a credit card. You don't they, you don't pay it twice. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah. You know, just, I don't think they have to have a deal with all the companies to do Uber Eats, do they? I just think they... Well, it's just like, you know, when you do Uber, like, she doesn't pay any more money. You just, right, it, right, but you're paying Uber. Right. Yeah, and, so that's not a deal with McDonald's. Well, I'm, figuring, I'm not sure. I'm figuring to make it fast, they must have a deal with... I can't picture them going and paying and doing it. Maybe they do, though. That's what I'm saying. We yeah, don't know. I'm thinking just <laughs> we a don't know. I know. I'm just that's figuring a credit card. I bet we could just right figure through. it out and pull it up. I've just mm -hmm. never used it before. Yeah, so uh, Amazon, yeah. that's pretty intense, man. Yeah. It had a market value of $10.7 billion. Um, but guess what? They want to be in that grocery business. That'd be quite a, quite a way to jump into it. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> jump yeah. right to the head of the end. Yep. And everyone knows that that, uh, you know, just healthy eating, and it doesn't have to be excessively as expensive as maybe Whole Foods, you know, but right. that whole industry in terms of health healthy or eating, healthy, organic, whatever it is, um, people care more and more about that. So that'd be an interesting way to jump right to the front totally. of that line. And I'm sure that that's that to them, there's the warehouses to, instead of building them too, right? Immediately. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Amazon warehouses probably, like, 
trump anything no pun intended you know seriously any warehouse that anybody else even owns they just I think they just build mega warehouses, and that's all that can accommodate them. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no doubt about that. So uh, oil is just laying there at 53.42, and we want to get it out of there. That's right. Let's go take a look at the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. So the strength inside the Dow Industrials right now, uh, point-wise, is that we have um, Procter & Gamble is putting three points into it. Nike's putting two. Johnson Johnson's putting two, taken away from it. Good old Goldman. You know, Goldman, uh, it's not that it's down a lot, thirty, but that's taken nine points away. Boeing's taken uh, eight and a half. United Health's taken eight. Caterpillar's taken seven. Uh, we go inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX, the leader out here. Uh, oh, look at the American Airlines. <laughs> Americans up two. Every airline but United is oh going to be up. <laughs> Americans up 2.3 percent. Uh, JD.com's up 1.2. eBay's up one. Taken away from it is the uh, tractor supply. We're going to look at that. That sounds 6.4 percent. Fast and all is up 5.6. Avgo Technologies down 3.5, and Qualcomm's down 2.2. Avco and Qualcomm. That's an that's an Apple play. Let me just go look at Apple for a second. So Apple, Apple's flat. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The so Dow Industrials right now are down 44. You get the Nasdaq off 14. S&Ps are down 6. And, you know, uh, for all us uh, folks that do trade uh, these direction products, folks, 
it's important to keep your uh, to be acquainted that there are 15 ETFs that they are going to have either uh, reverse splits or forward splits. Yeah. And we've gotten some calls on this in the past, but yeah. it's perfect to look at it right now, only because it takes effect May market open May 1st, May 1st okay. which is coming up. That's a Monday, May 1st, too, I believe. Uh, we have two weeks. There it is, May 1st. And right then there, May yeah. 1st, That's a, yeah, right. which will be a Monday. And we've covered this before, you know, now especially Nugget, JNUG, JDST we get calls for. Yeah. Um, and they're doing reverse splits. But nothing is going to change at all right. in terms of how they're reacting, even the, even the, um, the three times, the That's 300%, right. um, how your value is being affected. You know, you're just going to have uh, more shares of a cheaper priced equity that's going to move exactly the same. In so, some cases, in, in some cases, you're going to have less shares also. Right. Thank you. Right. Yes, yes. Right. Because right. We, we, they have reverse right. splits, and then they have the forward splits, which are down here, SPXL, right. LBJ, TNA, um, Daily Russia. We've gotten calls on this one for sure, RUSL. Um, maybe that's been getting more act more action than recent, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, no doubt. So keep that on the calendar, May 1st, and don't be surprised if you see the number of shares change that you own, because you're going to see the price change by a correlating value. Right. And your total value will be the, well, the same. same. Exactly. Right. And so just to give you an idea, uh, like the nugget is going, you know, four to one. So Was it one for four, I believe? Just to put it on the term, right? Well, every four shares is going to end up one share, right? Can you go back to it? Yeah. Um, we're going back to what? Is that what? Okay, we're, was it? Yeah. No, I think you're right. I just... Okay, you're fine. Let's go over it. So that would mean that, you know, if you have 4,000 shares right now at 10... 97, you're going to end up with 1,000 shares at $44, approximately. Sure. You know, that's how, that's how it will open, folks, you know. Um, so, this, that, that's a long way off, but the bottom line is that it's important to understand. Yes, definitely. The, um, uh, oh, I know, inside, so inside this MDX, let's, let's, hey, actually, I want to go to the IBB for a second. So, the IBB, look at that, still hanging. So, the IBB still hanging tough. Uh, inside that NDX, what you have, and this is going. This gets interesting because I can hear that mic open. I guess. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Tractor supply. So tractor supply is down four. But look at that. Interesting. So this is a high flying stock, folks. I mean, this is this is a high weighting structure inside the NDX 100. The, because this NDX 100 is modified, it's always, there's a few of them that, you know, you never think about. And this is one of them. Like okay. Starbucks is another one that it just, it's a, it's, it's a big weighting. Uh, and the, ooh, look at this, man. Okay, so this is down four bucks. It looks like it's gonna go after this lowest 61. What is going on with this thing? I know you say high flying. I think your brain's locked in the end of 2016, right? They've, they've had some problems. Yeah, no, um, no, no, no doubt. It was high flying until yeah. about a year, nine months ago, a right. year ago. Yeah, right. just recently. And, and what, you know, so this is their business is predicated on, you know, retail, large farm stores. Yeah, okay? so it says. Customers include hobby, yeah. part-time, and full-time farmers and ranchers, right. as well as rural. Right. Yeah. You know, so let's see what they have to say. Face more bad than bad weather. Just kind of, I guess they're dead. That they've been downgrading it all over the place. That's what you come down to. Let's see how our oil contract's doing. So okay, not bad. It is unfortunate that we didn't take anything off. Yeah, that was a I great know. strategy. Yeah. Um, and that just shows how really quick sometimes you can have those orders ready, or at least, you know, I had right. pulled up the tickets so that that makes it, you know, yeah, you really want to totally. have when you're making these trades, both tickets right in front of me so right. that, you know, as, as we want to enter that trade, we can do whatever we want. But, you know, we, we have 22 cents of value right now to the downside. Yeah. Um, and I need 43 cents <coughs> to break even. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. 
So we'll see where we are. But again, you got about an hour and 15 minutes, which is yeah. nice yeah. on uh, on the EIA day to have that much that much time yeah. to see where it moves. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of time. No doubt. As we do those 12 o'clocks more, I mean, I think I might almost like that trade more when you're making that uh, on yeah. oil, leaving yourself, because you're not going to pay a tremendous amount of premium for that extra hour. Right. You're paying a little bit more for that trade, right. which is why it was probably $43, as to sometimes we get in there at like 37 right? Yeah. 30 paying that extra money because you have an extra hour. You have right. three times as long. Whereas a lot of that really, a lot of that volatility that's priced in is around that 10:30 number, yeah. so it's not going to be a lot you're paying, and sometimes you get some good movement between 11 and 12 Eastern. Let's go take a look at U.S. Steel. So U.S. Steel, uh, this baby's backing down now. U.S. Steel, folks, you know it has a high volume low at $30.73. You break that high volume low, um, U.S. Steel is going to have some problems. You know that uh, to me that could come back to 25 bucks. Now what's going to be intriguing about that, of course, is that what the currencies have been doing are uh, coming back to election day november second yep. second third fourth sure you know, yes yes the ninth we really took off okay okay um oh thank you yes you the, just happened to be on the second okay. yeah the uh the peso's already done it yes that's quite a move the back. yen is getting there the dollar's getting there uh if u.s steel breaks down it's going to be there and that's the infrastructure trade U.S. Yeah. Steel has quite a ways to go, though. Oh, it does. No, it definitely does. <laughs> I mean, that's like a 35% yeah. pullback. Right. Right. No, 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 no yeah. doubt. No doubt. But, you know, we're coming down with some juice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, we go all, oh, actually, let's go over to UAL, okay? <laughs> so United they Airlines. Pulled back? No, look at this. United Airlines, okay? Pretty amazing. They opened I, I know. It's pretty sick. today. I didn't. It doesn't, you know. Oh, <laughs> any press is good press. I don't know about this one. No, no, I, I wouldn't be saying that. No, you know I'm I mean? kidding. I wouldn't. But it, what would you do? The amazing part, folks, is actually, you know, we went through it yesterday. Is that all they had to do is pay the people more money? Right. And the sickest part is that they bumped the people for their own employees. Right. Yeah. You know, and I understand they're probably pilots that got to get to the next thing. Uh, you know, that's yeah, what I'm it's, thinking. Yeah, it's something anyway. like con continuity of um, the employees where, you know, and thankfully they have these rules where you can't work so many hours. So it's like right. they really had where they needed right. fresh people in there. Um, but just even going into more of the details, I heard last night how the story worked out. So I, I believe they were trying to offer $800 a ticket. And so, really? so he and his wife, I think they said, uh, at least he accepted the offer okay i think under the premise thinking that he could at least make it there on a later flight right and what happened was is that that couldn't happen and then I he see. said i need to be at work i'm a doctor and so then he said this you know that i don't want it you know i want my seat and he was back right. in the seat and they wouldn't let him rescind the decision I that he see. was and they and so that he was even worse you know where it's like he wasn't even randomly chosen he was just under the impression that okay as long as you can get me there you say you know in the next flight and that's what they normally do they'll say the next flight yeah. and they probably you know were completely and revealing that the next flight was like way morning. longer than you anticipated right. and um so that's even that's even worse almost in my, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Where it's no, like, no. you know, he was under the impression that, and I'm sure they just allowed that impression to sink in. But yeah, either way, more money, you know, more money, as in yeah. from, from a straight dollars and cents. Uh, well, But, yeah. you know, and they made it all back to yesterday and today, so we'll see. That's why they call them cattle cars, folks. Get we'll see where this one shakes out. I guess they're huge in China. This is oh, a they, huge they, problem. They, they so no matter what's they, going they, on here, yeah. it'll be interesting to you, see how that took, shakes out. You took United when you went to Tokyo, right? When you were a kid, right? I don't know. That's 20 yeah, that's plus yourself. years ago. Oh, you know what airline I took 20 years ago? Yeah. Okay. I'm they, sure you're certain of it. I am certain. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Down. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN show and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, there's only a few days left on our best sale of the year, which is the Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, now, the way Tiger Dollars work, folks, they're good on our product at TFNN. Totally transferable, no expiration date. Uh, this sale here, we only do once a year. And uh, yeah, so you can get up to a 50% bonus. Uh, two options, you spend 600, get 750, so you end up with 150 extra bonus Tiger Dollars, 25% bonus, or you spend 1500, we'll give you an extra 750 Tiger Dollars, you get 2250, a 50% 50 bonus. Um, and like you said, you know, current subscribers, uh, if you sign up for anything in the future, they never expire. You can transfer them to friends or something like that if you know, you have anybody that could use some products for sure. Totally. And they're a great deal. So normally it's only a 10, 15, or 20% bonus. So normally if you're and spending 1,500, right. you're only getting uh, 1,800, a 20% bonus. So even at the lower level, 25% bonus, you're getting 150 extra Tiger Dollars. And um, you know, you can sign up just applying for six months of a subscription right. or something like that, and you know, to avoid payments. So it's a great deal. And uh, as we, uh, let's go, we back, I'm, I'm at the price point, so I got another hour on this baby. Let's you do, go. yeah. And you know, right now you have about 15 cents of value to the upside, and as time ticks away, right, the positive side one, so right now the positive one, I mean, theoretically, you could get $3 of value right now yeah. to the positive side one because it's down there. That's probably not worth taking considering, you know, only 15 cents away with an hour for right. $3, especially, you know, that's where the spread kind of works against you, as in... If you had to buy the upside one right now, it would cost you eight dollars. So right. it, it probably doesn't make sense to take that off for only three dollars. No. Uh, with sixty-four minutes left and only being fourteen cents out of the money. Yeah, totally. And uh, market-wise, this is going to get get uh, you know you, you get a market fluctuating. We're down fifty. Big deal. Um, yeah, we've been down between like thirty-five and fifty for right. kind of the and, whole hour. And percentage-wise, that's only two tenths of a percent in the Dow, two tenths of a percent in the S and P, and three tenths of a percent in. Can you jump to the VIX for one for yeah. final time? Because oh, we're that's right, interesting. We're right next yeah. to the sixteen mark, right? Where that, are we? Yep, we're up. We're still about that fifteen seventy mark. So right. the rule of sixteen, we're basically almost at sixteen. So we tell us the rule of sixteen again. One so. out of three days, one percent moves. So that means and we, we haven't got one yet. We should be okay. two hundred point down moves one out of every three days. Wow. Pretty simple. So guess what? You know, fundamentally, yeah. if the market isn't pricing that in and we start getting just some some days like this, 35, 50 points, that's that VIX is gonna disappear real quick. That is wild. Yeah. Man. Okay, so yeah. 
And, and same thing, keep in mind, like you want the VIX to go up to 24, yep. that's half of 16, so okay. it's gonna be one and a half percent moves. Yep. So if you think the VIX is gonna hang at 24 for a while, right. you better be expecting 300 point down moves every one out of three days. You can see the type of huge volatility that's necessary, at least to be priced into the market, for the VIX to stay at that level. And that's why you get those huge spikes. Right. Because man, you know, you want the VIX at 32, which it spikes above, right? Sure. The 32, sure. that means we should be getting 400 point moves. Yeah. Every I one mean, out of three days. Yeah. I'll, so I'll, we know how that goes, isn't that only stays at 400 point moves every one out of three days for a short period of time usually. Yeah. Because guess what? Either you get like a cascade down or a cascade up one way or the other, and then it just kind of might hover around again, right? Totally. So yeah. if we go back to October, it started at 12, and within five, seven trading days, it was at 23. Yeah, and then same thing and then, on the other way. And four, five days later, we're back down to 13. Correct. Wow. Yeah. That's intense. I like that. That's a, that's a great tool to understand. It Meaning is. that 16, it rule is. 16, it really one, puts of, it in one of very simple perspective. And now when we're talking 1%, you're talking big, well, it's, so it's still 1%. It's still 1%. 200 but, points, 205 points. 205.96, you know? Right. Right. That's pretty wild. Totally. You stay right there, folks. I'm in Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Of course, then we're going to go to swim lessons. Uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Uh, bottom line, have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. <laughs> go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.